up guys we are back on the channel with an episode i know a lot of people have been asking what's up with the e30 what are you doing with it the problem is, is that i had to diagnose the car and uh my dad was actually helping me with it and we didn't know what was going on so i had to you know the car didn't run in 16 years and we basically just had to figure out what was why it didn't run so we had to go over the car and uh my dad ended up finding out that the car had a bad fuel sending unit and the pump needed to change so we ended up changing the pump and uh the whole sending unit we changed the fuel filter and the fuel pressure regulator so we ended up changing it the car turns on uh you're gonna see in this episode today uh but i ended up selling the car because i got a really good offer on it and the guy is still gonna make me build the car to the way i want it so we just said you know what all right perfect i got good money we're both happy i'm gonna be able to finish the car and uh i actually got active auto works on the car to go ahead and help me finish it so they're gonna go ahead and service the whole car and do everything as a one's over like they're doing the timing belt right now on the car um water pump tensioner brakes uh <clears throat> they're gonna do i want to show you i don't want to explain what we bought i'm going to show you in the video uh, but they, that's what the main stuff that they did. They were bringing out the whole brakes and everything like that and making sure the car was, you know, safe to drive because it's, since it's been sitting for so long, it was a lot of work that needed to be done to make sure the car was 100%. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to say, hey, I'm going to finish this car for you. And then it's just like, it was half, half done. I want it to be 100% because I don't really like to do things half, halfway. I want it to be perfect when it comes out. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you like what we bought for it and why it's been taking so long. Uh, and there's still more stuff coming, but this is the stuff that was needed to get the car back on the road 100%. So, uh, in the, I don't know if you guys saw in the first video, the interior is in great shape, but it just needed like very little miscellaneous stuff uh, to get the car right. The wheel in, that, in, the, in the E30, the wheel was all beat up. So I ended up purchasing this, this wheel, which is a used wheel I bought on eBay, which is awesome. It's missing the center hub, but I mean the center horn button, but I'm going to pull it off the car right now. And uh, we ended up getting like, I don't know how you know if E30 parts right now are just very hard to come by. The markets on them are going crazy. The parts are getting very hard to go by. Like two years ago, this wheel would probably be like 80 bucks. I think we paid like uh, 280 for it, which is crazy because this is just a regular OEM vert wheel, which is nothing crazy, but it's just to find a good condition parts and then OEM parts. So we ended up getting the new wheel, well, new used wheel, but it's in like, it's basically in perfect condition. Um, another thing is we purchased some mats from uh, Turner Motorsports. These are OEM uh, mats, which look awesome. They're OEM replacement. So as you could tell, we spent good money on these. I think these were like 180 um, that we purchased. That's pretty much it for the interior um so we got back to the motor i wanted the car to run solid so we hit up ca tuned uh we got the whole hose kit with clamps so this is going to be brand new uh on the car so we're I'm going to go ahead and take up take majority of this stuff is going to active uh tomorrow i'm going to go ahead and get the, this stuff over there and they're going to go ahead and finish it up uh, i bought these from uh ca tuned as well this whole brake kit with sensors Uh, brand new sensors, pads, rotors, and the mirror. I got ended up buying this on eBay. The driver mirror, because the other driver mirror was broken, so I ended up getting this one on eBay, which was awesome too. I think I paid like 40 bucks for that one, which was a good price. It's just very hard to find parts, man, right now for these cars. I got a new intake boot OEM from Turner as well. This one was torn on the car, so we got this. It was great. Great little buy. Uh, this is a little nice purchase. We got the Ireland engineering exhaust. It's a whole midsection and this as well. Is it a midsection or a cab back? I think it's cab back. But this was rusted out on the car. The car had no rust, but for some reason, the exhaust was all torn apart. So I said, you know what? Let's ditch that. This is like an OEM replacement. Um, there's no sound difference because I used to have these on one of my old cars, and it sounded great. 
because it's not in stock, you know. Uh, we got more <coughs> break stuff there. This box has a whole bunch of goodies. Um, I don't even know what this is. Let me see what this is. I think this is a door. Like exterior parts, hold on. Oh yeah, these are door handles. So we got brand new door handles for the car. Two of them. These are handles and handle. Oh yeah. So these are brand new handles that we got because you know how these break in these E30s. And these are very hard to find right now. Uh, like you can't find these OEMs, so I just bought the Euro replacements because we need them ASAP. If not, you have to go to like find. You have to order them from Germany if you want to find an OEM one, and they're just really hard. What else do we got? New grommets. I got brand new badges. Let me see what else. Brand new badges for the car. another handle for the vert rear badge if you know the rear badges come bent so that's a rear badge this is a front badge what else we got in this box oh we got brand new cows because i want these to be super minty like these little things when you build a car make a difference when you see the car in person like you know nobody likes to see burnt out cows so we ordered brand new cows Oh, uh, turn signal covers, OEM, OEM turn signal covers. Oh, we ordered new side, uh, side lights. Cause this is an early model. You can't delete them. So yeah, we bought new side lights, new front side lights, all OEM. And then to finish it off, we got the brakes, brand new lines because all this stuff needed to be changed. Since the car was sitting, I wanted, I wanted to put brand new lines and we got steel braided by ECS. Uh, more brakes. <clears throat> that is pretty much it for the whole build, but you know, I'll give you guys a whole montage of all the parts and we can go from there. But uh, we do have more stuff coming for the E30. Uh, if you guys can, what wheels would you want to see on the E30? Drop it low below in the comments. I want to hear what you guys are talking about. What up? Back like you owe your tax, owe me 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 back like you owe your tax, owe your tax, owe me back like you 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 owe your tax. So drop below in the comments what wheels you want to see on the E30, what suspension should we run on the E30, uh, other crazy things, or you could, should we do a Euro conversion, Euro bumper conversion, or should we do a Euro M, a Euro conversion uh, and an MTech one kit on it, because you know, like we're trying to go crazy with the build, what do you guys want to see as far as it goes down for that? Um, Right now we're kind of stuck with some wheels. We need to get wheels for the car. So please drop comments what we should do. Should we do BBS, RS, redrill, rebarreled, some roadie forms. Uh, Edmonds has some wheels. I don't know if you guys seen CA2 in Igor Sun's car. He has some, uh, these wheels called uh, Edmond, E-D-M-O-N-D. -E I'll leave the link below. Uh, they look kind of like bottle caps in a way, but not really like bottle caps. They're like 16s, has good fitment on them. Uh, I'm trying to think AC schnitzers we could do some crazy wheel setup I mean let us know in the comments below what we should put in um, on the car as far as wheels and body thank you uh, please hit the link to subscribe to the channel uh, we're gonna be coming with more updates to it the M240 is currently down right now uh, 
that's another project that we got. I got to get on to back again. So more videos will be coming.